stored energy in a system of charges. In this slide, we are going to study what will be the stored energy if I have collected some electrical charges Q1, Q2, Q3, and Qn uh, in a specific region in space. At the beginning, we are assuming that the universe is empty and there is no any charge. So there is no energy at all. And I have brought the first charge Q1. So because the universe was completely empty, so there is no electric field. So in this case, I have exerted no work at all to bring the first charge Q1 because there is no electric field, there is no force, right? Now I'm going to bring another charge Q2 such that there is a distance between Q1 and Q2 equals R12. In this case, there is an electric field coming from Q1, so there is a force from Q1 on Q2, and I have done some work to bring Q2 from infinity until it can be stopped at the distance R12 from Q1. So in this case, I have done work equals Q2 multiplied by the potential coming from Q1. So the work to bring Q2 equals Q2 multiplied by the potential at the point 2 due to the charge 1. Now we already have two charges Q1 and Q2 and we are interested to bring another charge Q3 as a location 3. This location is a distance from Q1 by a distance R13 and a distance from Q2 by a distance R23. So in this case it is required to do a work against the potential coming from Q1 on Q3 plus another potential coming from Q2 against Q3. So to bring the charge Q3 to the space, it is required to do the work Q3 multiplied by the potential at the point 3 due to the charge of 1 plus Q3 multiplied by the potential at the point 3 due to the charge 2. So the work to position Q3 is Q3 multiplied by V3 1 plus Q3 multiplied by V3 2. If we are going to add more and more charges, so the work done to position charge 4 would be Q4 multiplied by the potential V4 1 plus Q4 multiplied by the potential 4 2 plus Q4 multiplied by the potential 4 3. Okay, so in this case, we have the work done to bring Q2 plus the work done to bring Q3 plus the work done to bring Q4. So the total work done or the total energy stored in this system would be Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4. Remember that Q1 I have brought it without doing any work because there is no electric field before Q1. So the total stored energy in this case would be the summation of the work done to position Q2 plus the work done to position Q3 plus the work done to position Q4. So this is the total work done. It would be Q2 multiplied by V21 plus Q3 multiplied by V31 plus Q3 multiplied by V32 
plus q4 multiplied by 4 v41 plus q4 multiplied by v42 plus q4 multiplied by v43 and this can be continued as long as we have extra charges the question now what will be the situation if we reverse the arrangement it means that I start with Q4 then I brought Q3 in the presence of Q4 then I brought Q2 in the presence of Q3 and Q4 finally I brought Q1 in the presence of Q2, Q3 and Q4 and I stored all the energy or I sum all the work done effectively this should be the same so the total position in work in the previous case was Q2 V21 plus Q3 V31 Q3 V32 and so on so Q3 multiplied by V31 is effectively is Q3 multiplied by Q1 over 4 by epsilon R13 this is the potential from the first point of charge at the location of the point 3 this potential multiplied by the Q3 represents the work done to bring Q3 inside the field of Q1 what will be done if we arrange it mathematically as Q1 multiplied by Q3 over 4 by epsilon R31 where R31 is the same as R13 as a magnitude so in this case we are talking about the potential coming from Q3 its effect on the charge Q1 so effectively Q3 multiplied by the potential V31 equals in magnitude Q1 multiplied by the potential coming from 1 to 3 so by applying this rule we can rearrange our problem instead of Q2 multiplied by V21 to be Q1 multiplied by V12 Q3 multiplied by V31 to be Q1 multiplied by V13 Q3 multiplied by V32 to be Q2 multiplied by V23 Q4 multiplied by V41 can be represented as Q1 multiplied by V14 and so on this effectively as I mentioned as if I started with Q4 and I brought Q3 then I brought Q2 then I brought Q1 now this is the stored energy starting from Q1 to Q4 and this is the stored energy starting from Q4 to Q1 both of them are the same so if we add it, them so the double of the stored energy would be the summation of these values plus the summation of these values let us arrange here q1 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 so q1 multiplied by v12 v13 v14 q2 v23 v24 and we have here v21 so q2 multiplied by v2 
V2, 3, V2, 4, and so on. Q3, Q3 here is multiplied by V3, 4. Nothing here. But here, multiplied by V3, 2. V3, 1. So, Q3 multiplied by V3, 1, plus V3, 2, plus V3, 4, and so on. All right. So, effectively, the double of the stored liquid energy equals Q1 multiplied by the potential at 1 due to 2 plus the potential at 1 due to 3 plus the potential at 1 due to 4 and so on. Effectively, the summation of the potential at the point 1 due to the second charge, third charge, fourth charge, and end charge is the total absolute potential at the point 1. So, this can be represented as Q1 multiplied by V1, where V1 is the total or the absolute potential at the point 1, plus Q2 multiplied by the potential at the point 2 due to the first charge, plus the potential at point 2 due to the third charge, plus the potential at point 2 due to the fourth charge, and so on. So, this is the summation of the potentials at the point due, due to the other different charges. So, it is the absolute potential at the point 2. So, we can see that plus Q2 multiplied by V2. Similarly, plus Q2 multiplied by V3. So, in general, we can see that V12 plus V13 plus V14 is the absolute potential at V. And subsequently, we can say that the double of the electric stored energy is Q1 multiplied by V1 plus Q2 multiplied by V2 plus Q3 multiplied by V3. So, in other words, the stored energy, WE, is half Q1 V1 plus Q2 V2 plus Q3 V3 and so on. Or generally, we can say it is half the summation of Qm multiplied by Vm, where m from 1 to n, where n is the number of the charge. Here, it is the summation of the value of the charge multiplied by the absolute potential at the point of the charge. This absolute potential is effectively the summation of the potentials coming from the other charge to the point n. So, this actually the stored energy in a discrete system of charges. Alright. Okay.